Hi everyone, it's Laurie and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. <clears throat> so today it is week two of my health update and this will air on Sunday. As I told you guys last week, every Sunday I am going to post a health update of what went on that prior week. Um, just because I'm hoping to get back to making some videos and I didn't want my videos you know, us talking about nothing but my health woes. Um, so this week's update is uh, the hands. <clears throat> so on Monday, um, I did go in for the, uh, to get the results of my um, two tests that I have. And they did confirm that I do have carpal tunnel uh, in both hands, with the right hand being the worst. Um, and I am reading from a piece of paper, guys, because I can't remember anything. Um, so they have actually scheduled surgery on my right hand for October 25th with follow-up November the 2nd. Uh, at that time, on November 2nd, they'll make an appointment to do my left hand. <clears throat> I did try to get them to do both hands at the same time, and they would not. So I did try, um, because their appointments for surgery are pretty far out. Um, the next thing to update is uh, occupational therapy. They have stopped that until after my surgery. Um, and then when I go for my post-op on November 2nd, we'll know if they're gonna start that back up on the right hand. And then, of course, we'll know how far my appointment is out to do the left hand. Um, <clears throat> saw my regular physician, and he did say that I could stop taking the pills that he gave me for nerve. So the off-balance and the eyesight, uh, the off-balance is um, pretty good with what I had going on, pretty much uh, is non-existing. Um, the eyesight, I still have a few issues, but we'll get into that in a moment. Uh, for the voice and whatever it feels like is in the back of my throat. I am still waiting uh, for uh, the office at an ENT to call me with an appointment. I let my nurse know on Thursday that they had not called yet, so she was going to do some calling around for me. Um, so about four days or so before my appointment on Thursday, um, I had been not, not feeling well, um, extremely tired, um, achy body and muscles, which of course, you know, that's what started this whole thing with the potassium. So... I was pretty much a wreck all last week, um, but I went to see him on Thursday, and I asked him to repeat my labs uh, because the way that I was feeling, and they did. Um, so they called me yesterday. I'm filming on Saturday. Um, my potassium is good. My calcium is good, and my D3 is good. The only problem is my creatine kinase is not good. And if you want to, you can just look that up. But it is um, high levels that's produced when uh, you've had trauma or something's going on with your muscles, which explains the chronic fatigue that I've been feeling and the muscle aches. The normal range is like 120 to 180, and my number's over 2200. Uh, and it is effect that is affecting my kidneys as they are now not up to full function. Um, so they will be sending me to a rheumatologist. And it, once again, I am still patiently, or not patiently, but anyway, I'm praying for patience. Uh, waiting for an appointment uh, for that to see why it won't stay down and why it has jumped back up so high. 
from my understanding, um, you're not really critical on that until you're 5,000 or above. And then that's hospital and um, medication through an IV. So, um, yeah, so I'm waiting on that appointment. Um, the only issue with that is if they can't get my um, creatine kinesis, I think I'm saying that right, down to normal, I don't believe they'll be able to do my surgery. And I actually go for pre-op blood work on the 19th. So I'm really, really hoping they can get me into the rheumatologist who can get that under control fairly quickly. Um, because all this stuff with my hands, it's just, um, there's no way to explain it. This is, I'm going into the third month. And with them being numb and the tingling and the pins and needles, um, like I said, last week was a really rough week and I was just crying all week and then of course being tired and um, extremely um, just wore out and give out fatigued, I guess is the word I'm looking for, uh, with the muscle aches and I am having some minor discomfort and pain across my lower back and my lower abdomen. So I'm not sure if that's from the kidneys with them not being up to full function. But I am watching my symptoms very closely. Uh, and of course, if I feel like they're getting worse, I will be going to the emergency room. So that is all we have for um, week two's health update. I would like to just ask for continued prayers that this all works out so that I could still have my surgery. Um, it will be like um, endoscopy, and there'll just be a tiny incision with only um, three or four day recovery. So that's why my post-op is seven to 10 days. Um, they will be putting me to sleep for that, so yeah, just if you guys could all pray that, you know, they could get this um, creatine kinase down to a level where I could have the surgery. I'd really, really appreciate it because from what I've been told, the numbness and the tingling and pins and needles will be instantly gone as soon as the surgery is done. I just have to make sure that I immediately start because I'll have a dressing after surgery, but the fingers will be exposed with moving the fingers, they said, was very important. So that is it for health update, week number two for 10 8 23. I want to thank you all for your continued support. I really, really do appreciate all of your prayers. And again, monetarily, if you would like to support me, I will have my PayPal email listed in the description box below. God bless you all. I love you all. And I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.